we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews today. And I got these um, collapsible hinges, I guess you can call them. I'll put in the exact name in the description, but I mean a folding shelf bracket. There you go, that's what they call them. There's like a million different names you can call this thing. But uh, these were the cheapest ones that I found on Amazon for the size that I needed. These are 24 inch brackets. So I needed 24 inch. These were the cheapest 24 inch I could find uh, because 24 inches are very expensive. Here is the um, tag on that. So let's get one of these open because it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do an installation. You're gonna see in all that. All right, so here's one of them right here. This is kind of what it looks like. And um, you'll I'll show you uh, you know why I picked this one out in a second, but uh, so this is 24 inches in size this way It is supposed to be I am going to get the measuring tape see how it works um, So this would go You know onto the wall like that and then this is going to open and I mean you're going to see it work like you can already tell I got this the cheapest one you could feel this but we're not going to move that this much So that's the reason why this is going to work if you plan to open and close this every day I wouldn't even I wouldn't even stop and scroll looking at this one that I found. I would have looked at one that's like rated for like 500 pounds or 600 pounds. And it doesn't matter if you're going to use it for that many pounds. The thing is, is that when it has a really high rating on the pounds, um, usually in theory, not all the time, it depends if you're going to get ripped off, um, you'll have thicker steel. So if it has thicker steel, most likely, you know, in theory, it'll last a lot longer because it's heavier duty. And I think even on the heavier duty ones of this, this part that goes onto the wall, the mounting part is much longer. So you have a lot more, you know, leverage uh, against the stud. And I would only go and use this for a stud. Uh, if you're gonna put, you know, over 50 pounds on it, I, even if you're gonna up and down, I wouldn't use any anchors. Anchors aren't made for vibration, uh, at least when I installed them in my, um, you know, out in the field, uh, when I installed anchors, not made for vibration. You can hang stuff up and it's cool. It's, it'll stay there. You know, a shelf, it'll just stay there. You can use it for a, a stationary shelf because the shelf doesn't move unless you're gonna shake it every day. Um, but this, you're gonna open and close, open and close. So if you use any kind of anchors, most likely these are gonna loosen up total waste. So make sure you hit the stud, that's your best bet. These look like you could fit quarter inch, which will be good. Obviously, if you want bigger, you're gonna have to drill it out. You're gonna need a decent drill bit to drill through this because it is pretty thick. You're not gonna be able to use some really cheap one. I mean, maybe you'll get one hole done with a cheap drill bit, but you won't get more than that. Now, this is the one that I picked out. This was the cheapest version of the release that's in the front of the hinge. And that's the reason why I picked this one out. Now, they did have cheaper ones, but it didn't have the release up here. Because if you have a big countertop, most of the releases that I saw were all the way over here. So I know that seems like not a lot, but if you're gonna put a counter on here, right? And the counter is gonna be a couple of inches, you're gonna have to reach way under there, um, you know, and try to hit on that thing, all right, to get it. This is like, look at this, I can go right here and look how much more counter space. So you just hit that and then it will fold right in. It comes with these little cheap ones in here. They probably don't even work that good. These probably strip. I notice majority of the metal screws that are made in China that are really ch cheap, they strip as soon as you put too much torque and it's very annoying. So we're gonna get this installed. My plan is to install it on this wall. I have a stud right here, I have a stud right there, and I have a stud right there. This is like a really fake wall that blocks the heat, so that's why they didn't go every 16 inches on this wall. So uh, there's one every like maybe two feet. All right guys, so we are back uh, doing the install. Um, I already got one installed just to show you. Uh, I'm gonna install the other one together with you. And uh, so pretty much this is the first one that's installed. It's pretty sturdy. And I put uh, three exterior screws because uh, they're a little bit thicker. Um, I put three exterior screws through here and then I don't know what I'm gonna use for the top yet. I didn't plan that out, but whatever. This is gonna go inside a laundry room as you can see this is the laundry room so it's going to go inside the laundry room if you guys are setting up a laundry room for someone or whatever that's it so i'm going to get this installed so what you're going to do is now i already made mine level off camera but you're going to want to make sure this is level because the floor is not level so you're not just going to want to measure from the floor up and do your measurement that way because not everybody's floor is level in your house i've been to a lot of houses where 
you know, the floor is off. So, you know, you know, and this floor is off because it's concrete. So there's no, obviously, you know, you can't do nothing. Um, so pretty much I already aligned. So what you're going to do is depending on your size, your spacing, I mean, I'm going to make mine this wide. So mine's going to be, uh, I, like I said, I do have a beam right here, but I, that's too close. And then there's going to be, um, you know, overhang here. And that I find that's kind of stupid. So this is going to be perfect for the setup. Cause if you notice, we have a door right here. And now when the door, um, when we need to open up this door, we just click this and it folds down. All right, so pretty much that's it. So what you're gonna do is uh, you we don't want a longer level than this. Mine's two feet and see it will not reach. So I have a six foot level, but I don't want to mess with that right now. Um, but I already leveled mine. So you're gonna want to you know put these, you know where you're gonna mount them, and then you know make sure you use a level all the time. You know mark your holes and no way it's gonna go pretty much, all right? So make sure when you're doing your measurements on the top though, you compensate for your countertop. My countertop is one inch, yours might be a half inch, three quarter, two inch, I don't know. So make sure you compensate, okay, the height and don't mess up the, the first time because then you, know, you don't wanna have to do more holes. So mine's gonna go right there, so. All right, so if you notice, I, you know, if you ever notice in my videos, I take my time with using bits, I drill slow, or whatever. Um, it's just because um, I don't have a business anymore, so I can't write off, um, you know, this stuff. And if you're a homeowner, there's no point of burning this stuff out. I mean, unless you own Ryobi or I don't know, you, you, you just don't, you know, like to throw money everywhere. And I don't know what to tell you. But um, what I'm saying is that if you're a homeowner, you saw, I, I always go small, light, because if you ever heat up, heat these up, these aren't, you know, none of these are really good. So um, if you heat these up, they burn out like so much quicker. I mean, it kills the life expectancy. Um, so we're gonna mount this, let's get the screws. Now, you are gonna need extension bits to do the, uh, to put the screws in, so you know. See what I mean? I have the uh, the four inch uh, DeWalt, and then I also have another, what, inch and a half on the top. So I have almost, almost six inches in length right here um, that I'm gonna be, that I had to use in order to screw it in. So if you do not have um, these extensions, you can use a ratcheting set, just put a quarter inch bit on here with a smaller bit, and you can use like a little ratchet, and then you can fit it in there. It'll take you, no matter it'll take you longer but who cares as long as it's going to be installed right i mean that, the end game is to get it installed at least for me like in, in your house like i said if you have a business the end game is to be efficient you know and to be very very fast so let me get this drilled in because my battery is about to die I'm not using washers. I would probably use washers. I always do, but I just decided not to because I'm too lazy and I think it should be fine. All right, so that's it for that. See, so that's it pretty much it for the install, see? So you're gonna put on whatever top you want and see, it's gonna go just like that. And now this can go and the door can open and it's gonna be nice and easy. That's pretty much the end result and the finishing result and you can see the holes and pretty much what's up, all right? And like I said, they feel, look, I'm putting probably, I don't know, probably 50, 60 pounds on it and they ain't moving. All right, so I would I would put 100 pounds on this with no problem, you know what I mean? I wouldn't really put that much, but. Um, all right, so that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews on the install of those things and stuff like that. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, I would love to know. Also, subscribe to my channel, join me on my review adventures. I try to put up stuff to help out the community just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy, be safe, I'm out.